For more than a century, moving images have told the story of Buffalo, from its greatest moments in history, to its greatest people, to the way we have lived and worked and contributed to the nation in so many ways. The early years of television news gathering in Buffalo set a standard for the nation, and the market is still second to none in capturing the drama of life. But our moving image chronicle of history is now in danger of being lost forever because it is slowly deteriorating on warehouse shelves and in basements. It's just sitting and we need to take it and, you know, get it so that people can see it put it into a format where people would be able to look at it. Hopefully we'll be able to have a facility someday where we'll be able to have people come down, take a look at you know the history of Buffalo whenever they want to. The Buffalo broadcasters had found a way to warehouse the news film footage of the commercial television stations when they could no longer provide space in their own facilities. Thousands of feet of film beginning from the 1960s, when Buffalo and the nation went through one of the most dramatic periods of change ever, are now waiting to be rediscovered, and the Buffalo broadcasters are determined to make it happen. This is the, uh, the beginning of uh, the biggest phase of the uh, broadcasters that you know, we've, we've ever had. In June, the Buffalo broadcasters brought one of the nation's most prominent moving image archivists, Lisa Carter, to the warehouse on Elk Street to see the collection examine its condition, and make some early recommendations. I'd make use of those hand rewinds and uh, some gloves and those viewers and just take a look at what you've got. Lisa brought two graduate students from NYU with her. The task of assessing the collection, categorizing and cataloging its contents, and digitizing the film is daunting. But can it be done? I think it's real doable. Um, it's, there's a lot of work to be done, um, but with the support of the community, I think that this could be a really exciting project and, and you guys could be real leaders nationwide. The very next day, representatives from the three commercial television stations and public broadcasting in Buffalo gathered to hear what Lisa Carter might recommend. She said through cooperation, significant grant money could be obtained to begin the process of retrieving the archive. The Buffalo broadcasters are leading a collaboration here in Buffalo that is really going to make a difference um, nationally. It's going to make a difference to those grantors, but it's also going to make a difference as a model for other markets. The initial reaction was favorable. There's international demand for what we've got sitting at the stations and on pallets. Uh, I mean, you took that things like Love Canal. We're all committed, but I think we all want to know how much money it's going to take, how much uh, time and effort. We need someone, some organization, to put together a plan that would have equitable uh, uh, requests from each organization. And that's, that's when we can start really moving forward. The Buffalo Broadcasters believes the retrieving of the archives can and will be done because preserving and promoting Western New York's rich television and radio history is the very purpose for our existence.